David Hammond of uh, Thermokil, and we actually introduced heat treatment uh, into the UK way back in 1998 uh, as an alternative to methyl bromide, initially for environmental reasons to try and get uh, try and get methyl bromide banned, being such a, a bad ozone depleter. And uh, at the time, people didn't think there were any alternatives, so I thought heat was, and we worked on a few new ideas, and here we are, some 13 years later, and uh, heat treatment is now first choice treatment for, for many different types of insect problems. We cover the physics of, of heat treatment so people understand uh, the principles of how treatment works, how, how heat kills insects, um, the specific heat capacities, like heat evaporation, things like that, that um, the technical side which people need to know um, in order to carry out effective and safe heat treatments. And then we go through a whole variety of um, practical techniques uh, that we've learned over the last 13 years for either heat treating furniture in, in rooms, whole rooms, whole buildings, or spot treatments of different types of food production machinery. Part of the course is uh, designed to be practical and we've had the uh, delegates trying to understand how to do a basic heat treatment of some furniture here in the training room um, using a diesel powered uh, heating unit. We've got the hot air coming out here ducted into a stack of, of furniture and then inside the stack we've got a whole range of different temperature sensors with a thermocule thermolog temperature monitoring system going back to a laptop. Here we have the delegates uh, diligently monitoring the ongoing heat treatment. They've put the sensors in themselves and they're trying to understand um, how different items heat up, ranging from wood to flour to different bits of furniture, the wood, the metal on the furniture, and even sensors stuffed in between cushions. So this will teach them how to understand where to put temperature sensors to measure the cold spots in any heat treatment, which is key to the success of, uh, of any job in, in the real world. Yeah, this is the first of many courses to be run at the, the BBCA here. Uh, check uh, the BBCA website on bbca.org.uk for details of forthcoming courses. These should be run over two days, so it's not a big chunk out of the working week to gain knowledge of everything you need to know about heat treatment for the future. The course is particularly of interest to any pest control company either involved in heat treatment or intending to get involved in heat treatment and of course any of the product supply companies uh, should know the possibilities of heat, particularly how heat uh, can relate to the use of other insecticides and other integrated pest management techniques. It's been a very well delivered course um, and I've learned a lot about thermodynamics and general heat treatment. Um, my main aims to get out of the course are for heat treating bed bugs. Mm -hmm. However, you know, I've learned a lot about some other aspects of heat treatments uh, within the pest control industry. Very hands-on rather than just sitting and listening to the instructor. It's been a very, very good course. I didn't know anything about uh, the heat treatment that we're doing now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's a uh, good start. <laughs> Excellent. Good start. It's, it's um, as, as um, Cliff said, it's very well delivered because it's very interactive and then more practical and hands-on. I mean, I can see the system, how it works. Yeah, there's a lot yeah, of equipment. Yeah, there's a lot of equipment that's going in. And yeah, it's very well delivered, yeah.